The idea here is, is to take a very small section right in the middle or wherever the parting is and make a decision on a chosen length there. So I want to go fairly short today. So I'm just going to go with a pointing motion. The next sections are all taken and I prefer to mirror my fingers to the eye socket. So our section is going to remain parallel to this section. So as it comes down, our section broadens and involves the vast majority of the front. If you don't work parallel and you work parallel to the hairline, your section will have much more width at the bottom than it will at the top. Elevation is the control of how the hair moves from the head from the root. People often refer to it at an angle, like 45 degree, 90 degree for example. To be honest though, we as hair cutters are not protractors, so you can't really measure the exact angle. What I want to teach you is, is the higher we lift the section, the more layered, the more lighter, the more softer the characteristics of the shape. So my next section is being lifted off base and cut into the guide previously set. Firstly, I'm just going to connect in this section to the fringe. Now as I take this section, I'm actually over directing it off its base into the middle. So I'm not cutting it as it sits natural, which would be me doing this. By over directing it, I'm helping myself to create a very elongated cut line. So now if I put my scissors in and start to slice through, soft blend into my shape. So let's do that again. So as I pull it down and over direct in, my scissors are going down and my hand is coming into the front. Slightly behind our mannequin or our client, pull the section down. So our elevation is now a little higher than last time. Don't make sudden jumps with the elevation. The idea here is to have a fluid shape. Now if cross-checked, like so, our shape is still neat and balanced. We're not looking for sudden jumps, which will give an inconsistency to our shape. So as I pull down my next part of my section, again, lifting the section. Taking the next part of the section as well, and slicing. But if you notice this time, we are slightly higher with the elevation. Again, lifting the hair slightly. So again, body position, you want to be stood slightly behind your client. And at this time, your, your, your scissors go behind your fingers. Take section four. Now we have section four. So this is the two previous sections we've used as a guideline. Now 
the elevation is, is again higher than it was previously. Why do we point cut? What do we get from point cutting? That's right, we have more control over the hair falling in a softer position than if we club cut. Once we've taken that one section, and what's good is you'll be able to start to see that your top section should be starting to round away. So we're not building the square shape up, the section is just starting to bend over and follow the head shape. Far, our sections have reached the back of the ear. I now will pivot sections from this point working to the top of the crown. So we will not be passing this section with any further sections at the sides. So my next section will come down to this point. So now we have our next section, which again is pivoted from the position behind the ear. Now we're going to be removing sections one and sections two from the outline. This is just to ensure that we know exactly where we're over directing to. When I never used to remove the previous in this manner, I used to always found that I was, had a habit of over directing this further forward than it needed to be because I was concerned about it going too short. By removing some, you know that this, this section here has to come to the position of this section. It makes life easier if you just take those seconds to position your maps appropriately. Once these are complete, we're going to turn our attention to the back sections. To do this, we're going to take a section from the back as a guideline. This section here is going to be the guideline for how we cut the back. We repeat this on both sides. Our next section will run directly from the crown, directly to the nape with a vertical profile section. As this section is elevated, I can see a guideline from the top. So as I elevate my section straight up, I can see quite clearly the shortest point from the front, and then I can see the hair that is left out. I then make a decision on the shape of my cut line. At this point, I'm gonna follow the head shape and work round. Why do I choose to do this? My concerns are by maintaining the hair going longer, it means that I'm going to have very little effect on the back. I want the uniform, I want the, there to be a uniformity to the layer. I do want it to look balanced. Although, yes, I want there to be a higher frequency of layering towards the front, I also want the back to have its fair share. So I begin. Fingers to the root so I can feel the head shape. Go straight up and I can see my cut line. Initially, I club cut to remove some lengths, then I'm going to go back through and point cut. So, now we've cut our first section, we're going to pivot each subsequent section from section one around the head shape. Each section will be pulled into the middle of each other. We're looking for a round horizontal shape here. This means that the lengths going from side to side will not increase. If they increased, we'd find that the final section 
was longer than the section here, meaning that we had a step or we didn't have our balance. So section two and section one will be pulled to meet in the middle of one another. Section three will meet in the middle of two and three, section four in the middle of three and four, and so on. Okay, so here we have our look wrap dried with only a leave in heat protection product to use at the moment. I don't like to use too much product when I'm working with texture. I like to move the hair and see how it will go in more of a natural form. Our first steps are going to be to be working off a small triangular section at the front to start to collapse the shape at the fringe. So we're going to be working with vertical sections pulled directly out. And we're going to be parallel point cutting into the hair. The parallel 